Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today we are opening containers that you don't have to. But seriously, this is for those of you guys who have limited uh, exchange certificates. What can you expect out of it? Now, I'm going to compare doubloons, but I think if you wanted to, you could easily compare them to the, to the doubloons if you wanted to. You could easily kind of make that translate. So what are we looking at? Last year, I did 20 containers to 20 containers to 20 containers. Some a little bit different this time. So you can buy Santa's Mega Gift containers for 18,750 doubloons. Or you can buy the buy 20 of the Santa's Big Gift containers. I want to compare the doubloon values, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy 20, and then I'm going to buy an additional 8, and that'll put me right around 18,750. I realize that it's not perfect. It's close enough. And then for the Santa's gift containers, I'm going to buy 80 of them. Now, there's a few things to look at. I have it in the spreadsheet. I just want to show you guys right quick. But as you guys can see, the uh, values are different from one to one. And if I remember right, the pink value is different. Uh, they've added 40 ships to the containers, which is holy crap. That is, that's a lot. And I don't know if I have them all. I really don't think I do. And I haven't gone through and really looked at them yet. Uh, if you already have a ship from that, though, you're going to get 250 steel. So if I start getting uh, 250 steel, I know where I, why I'm getting it. But you are guaranteed on the uh, Santa's gift container after the uh, 100th container. In the, you're guaranteed a unique item, the ship, in the 100th container if you don't find it in the 99th. That's a pretty horrible pity value. Let's go look at the other one. I'm looking... Roughly the same spot. This one is 70, 750 steel. But if this is the 27th, so I should be guaranteed to get a ship with 28 containers in this. And then the Santa's Mega Gift containers. Steel is 12, 1250. That's nice. And then I'm guaranteed a ship in the 15th container out of 14. Now let's go over and let's go look at the spreadsheet. So I have this spreadsheet all pulled up. Now I'm going to be pulling, like I said, 80 of the Santa's gift containers. I'm going to be pulling 28 of the big gift containers. I'm going to be pulling 20 of the mega gift containers. Now these are the percentages of drops, and this is the expected drop rate of these containers. I realize that it's not going to be perfect. I realize that, but I want to see what am I going to get. And... Especially on these ones where it's only 20 or only 28, it's going to be very weird with the drops versus the percentages simply because of the fact, my phone just dinged, simply because of the fact that you typically get a better spread of data the more data you collect. This is such a finite amount of data, I don't know what I'm going to get. But let's go over the drops right quick. So in ships for Santa's mega gift containers, two and a half percent percentage drop. That should leave me two ships. Should. 30 days premium, one percent, zero, zero to one. I think it's 0 0.8. Obviously, I can't get 0 0.8 of a 30 days premium account. So I have to be a little generous there. I decided to condense all of the blue and all of the green uh, econ bonuses together and all of the reds just to make it easier to document because you don't need to see an actual spreadsheet of well I got four of these and I got two of these I I think broadly I just want to see what the actual drop rate is of blue to red to green signals 25 I should get 19 to 20 of these 500 dubs I should get four so on and so forth you can see how it works and the same for Sans Maggie containers where this is where it gets really weird I don't have one solid value here. Two to three, zero to one, five to six, one to two, eight to nine, two to three. And it's the same with uh with the Santa's Mega Gift containers. I only really have it with the 5% and the 10%, which is an easy split. But you can definitely see for a for the value for 18,000 for roughly 20,000 doubloons. I'm gonna just say for roughly 20,000 doubloons. I'm going to get three to four ships versus two to three ships versus two ships. So the Santa's Mega Gift Containers, if you're looking for ships, is definitely looking to be the better way to go. But anyway, let's hop into port and let's start opening containers. So I have purchased the doubloons. I would definitely recommend buying doubloons and converting it to the, uh, to the containers. I'm not saying that you need to do that. 
but it is the smart thing to do. Why is it the smart thing to do? Because there's typically, you typically get a little bit of a bonus when you buy the, uh, when you buy doubloons in bulk, you get a 1% bonus. I realize it is minuscule. You gotta, gotta watch over your nickels and your dimes and your dollars take care of themselves. It's the better way to play. Trust me on But anyway, so I'm gonna get started with just buying 80 of these and I'll bring you guys back for the Santa's big and mega gift containers. But I will leave you with a montage of me opening these gift containers. So we have purchased and opened our 80 containers of the Santa's gift. Now let's go ahead and open our 28 of the Santa's big gift containers. Now I don't know if you noticed, but I did manage to pull two ships out of that. I consider that more luck than anything. Definitely RNG related. Definitely not. Um, <laughs> definitely not the best representation. I have opened a hundred and only gotten one before. But, and there's other things in there that it kind of screwed me on with RNG. So, I'm going to invite you guys along now for the big and mega gift container openings. So, let's go ahead and let's purchase 20. And let's go ahead and purchase 8. And then with any luck, I'll get enough doubloons. No, I should have enough doubloons to get the mega gift containers also. So, Alright, let me pull up my spreadsheet in the other window. Starting off with Blue Econ. So, I got one of those. Sorry, I, you guys are probably going to get really annoyed with me talking to myself. Two of those. We should get, uh, we should get eight to nine of these. It's got a pretty high percentage of 32%, so... I would not be surprised if we get a lot of those. credits. And there, that looks like coal. Commander XP. More credits, that's always welcome. Oh, I almost hit all containers there. Oops. I'll do that. Camos, worthless as they are. I I honestly just end up selling them, so I look at that and I see roughly five hundred thousand credits. Blue Econ. Seventy five signals. Blue Econ. The way that it's dropping blue econ, we're gonna be over pulling on those though. See? 
We're already up to six, and we're only supposed to get nine max. Seven. Well, if, you're, if you want to stock up on blue econ, this is definitely the place to do it. Eight. Oh, ship. What do we get? Ooh, the Fujin. Basically a kamikaze. We should get two or three ships. We got two ships last time around. So let's see if we're lucky this time around. And now it's giving us signals. Oh, another ship. What do we get? Ooh, the Anchorage. That's actually a ship I really wanted. I didn't realize they put it in here. I know they put in some uh, dockyard ships, but I didn't realize they put the Anchorage. I know they put the Odin in here. More Commander XP. Or Commander XP. Credits. Hey. Or Commander XP. <laughs> We are over pulling on our commander XP now. We haven't had blue econ for a while. Watch now, I'm gonna get blue econ. <laughs> oh my lord, I called it. Is that weird glitch? A kind of. Our credits? Yep, over pulling on our credits, but whatever, and we are getting no doubloons, it looks like. Dang! Glad I have enough and signals. All right, so I'll show you guys the spreadsheet after uh, after we open the mega gift containers. No, I do not want to. Now it's time for the big guns. All is always good to have. I love the animation on this. The art department really carries this game. It, it is amazing. Oh, ship. What do we get? You got the Odin. Yay. I realize the Odin's not that great, but in 1v1 brawls at tier 8, it is actually pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. Oop, we got steel. So, I'm already out of the ships to buy. <laughs> uh, oh well. I thought there were going to be more in the uh, in the containers to get. I thought they said they added 20. But I do realize that they added, like, the Malta. I do realize that they more steel. They probably added the Tromp. I have these ships, so... If you, if you need to farm steel, this is the place to probably do... Ooh, Red Econ. Credits. That's always good. Blue Econ. Oop, more steel. More credits.
I have to look away and put it into the uh, into the spreadsheet after every single opening, and I'm kind of getting a headache from it, just bouncing back and forth with my head. Oh, the character of this. Ooh, doubloons. I've always kind of not really liking that they put doubloons in here, because to me it just kind of feels like, hey, re-roll. Like, you get the re-roll in slot machines or whatever, and it's like, I'd rather have some, like, research points. Who doesn't need camos? Ooh, more steel. We're actually getting pretty good drops here. I'm really glad I opened the uh, cheap ones first, because if I was going to get steel drops, I'd rather get the 1270 or 1250 steel versus the uh, 250 steel. I realize that's like the obvious, but I didn't really plan it that way. It just sort of happened. So, and blue econ, and that rounds that out. Let me uh, let me break off. Let me go do a bunch of math, and then I can bring you guys on back. So after doing all the math involved with it, we can take a look. Let's start with the Santa's gift containers. Now, here's the thing. I realize that most people are probably not going to buy these. These are kind of meant to be the free rewards that you get for completing missions, for watching them on Twitch. You know, I realize that these are meant to be the giveaway containers. So, but we actually did pretty well on them. So let's take a look. So for the ships, we got two, which is 2.5% drop rate. That's pretty good. 30 days premium, 2%, 2.5% drop rate. That's, it depends on if you need premium or not. I do not need premium. I think I'm sitting at around 1,400 days of premium now. So yeah, I don't need premium. Blue Econ, we definitely overhauled with this with 11 drops, making a 13.8% drop rate. Green Econ, we overpulled on that, 22.5% drop rate. Signals, we got 25, we underpulled on this, but we still got 21.2% drop rate. 500 dubs for it, uh, the New Year's camo, the and, and yeah, those two, we got four of each, 5% drop rate. Port slot, we got two, we should have gotten four to five, two and a half percent drop rate. 2,500 coal, we underpulled on that. Three drops, 3.8%. 20,000 Commander XP, we overpulled on that. We got 11 to 8, which means we got a 13.8% drop rate. And then credits, we underpulled with only 6, with leaving us with a 7.5% drop rate. Let's move on to the Santa's big gift containers. With ships, we should have gotten 2 or 3, and said we only got 2, so 7.1% drop rate. I realize that the percentages on these are going to be a little wonky because I'm dividing by 28. We didn't get any 90 days, which I'm happy with, but if you're looking for a premium, that might not be the place to do it. Signals, we pulled right about what we were supposed to do with 6, leaving us with a 21.4% drop rate. 1,500 dubs, we struck out. We didn't get any 0% drop rate. 15, uh, 15 New Year's camos, again, I think they're worthless. We only got one batch of them, 3.6%. 7,500 coal, we should have gotten of these realistically we only got one leaving us with a 3.6 percent drop rate blue econ we got nine we kind of pulled a little high there 32.1 percent drop rate uh commander xp we got four we should have only gotten two or three so we over pulled on that with a 14.3 and credits we pulled five when we should have pulled again two or three leaving us with a 17.9 percent drop rate now, again, I would just want to reiterate that the more data you collect, the more you're going to have a better picture. You know, if you only flip a quarter 10 times, if you're getting seven heads to three tails, that doesn't mean you have a rigged quarter because you might flip it another three times and you might get four heads to six tails. The more data you collect, the more you can out. But I don't see anybody opening a hundred of these Santa's big gift containers. And to tell the truth, I see them as kind of a ripoff because they're, they're not that much cheaper than the mega gift containers. And they're a lot more expensive than those Santa's gift containers. But I think that's having to do with the, um, I'm, I'm, I can't think of the name of the principal, but it's like, so the small is like 250. If, if you ever at like a coffee shop, the small is 250, the medium is 450 and the large is 550. Well, 
I don't want to be ripped off, so I'm not going to get the medium, so I'm going to get the large. I think that's what they're trying to do. You know, just that principle. I can't think of the name of the principle. If I look it up and I find it, I'll put it here. Editor Alex can put it here. And no, Editor Alex, you're not getting a raise this year. Sorry. Budgets are tight. Santa's Mega Gift Containers. This is where we really turned it around, in my opinion. Five dropped ships. That is insane. So that leaves us with a 25% drop rate, 180 days premium. We struck out. Oh, bummer. You can tell that I'm so bummed out by that. Ready, Econ. We kind of struck out on that one, though. We only got one drop, 5% drop rate. Blue Econ, we actually underpulled on that, too. Only five drops, leaving us with a 25% drop rate. The balloons pulled out right where we were supposed to with a 5%. The New Year camo, one drop, 5%. Coal, we pulled out with that we we over pull on that that is actually a good thing we got a 15 percent drop rate on that and then the commander xp and the credits both with two that's exactly where they were supposed to be kind of weird how you know with the santa's gift containers they were kind of right on with the santa's big gift containers they were way off and then with the santa's mega gift containers they're right back on kind of odd how that works i i i'm kind of entertained by that but anyway, let's head back into game and we can close up our final uh, final thoughts on this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the, as we opened up all these containers. Again, you have to kind of look at it from what are you looking for. If you only get two or three of the, uh, of the certificates, let's say you're very new here, I might recommend just getting the Santa's gift container. It's, in my opinion, it's not worth getting the big container. I'd rather see you guys get more of something with more containers than get less of them. And to tell you the truth, if I had to pick between all three, let's say I only had five. I guess that's good for one mega, three of the big or five of the little ones. I would actually go with five of the little ones itself. That is just me. But if you have a lot of them, I'd get the mega gift container. I would not even... I would not think about touching the big gift containers. it'd be one thing if the big gift containers were like two or were like two of those certificates or three though I'm gonna get three certificates only i'd get the small ones and leave the big ones alone i would not touch the big ones and i think they are a waste now as far as the uh as far as everything else like the uh econ bonuses and whatnot and the the camouflages in my opinion the camouflages are utter garbage let's just see how much i get for these so i have 60 2.7 million credits i'm just gonna sell them because honestly I'm use them what's the point of using camels anymore they've they've taken camels are just there to look pretty that, that's all they're there for to look pretty i realize i i actually commemorate them taking the econ bonuses off of them i think that was a i think that was a smart move However, I would have kept the the dispersion buff and the uh, the the uh, concealment buff to them, and not um, and not made them baked into the chips. That is just me. I don't get why that's why they didn't do that. I don't understand it from my perspective, but that is just the way that it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all next time.